What's the craziest thing you've seen overseas? The craziest thing I've seen overseas, <laughs> man, it's a leg. So I was in Mexico, first year out, right? So, you know, you hear a lot of stories about like the cartels in Mexico and and how like police walk around with shotguns and rifles and AK-40, you know what I mean? Like you hear all these stories. So it's one late night, we riding the bus. I I think we was headed back to Mexico City or we was going to a away game and I'm asleep, right? I'm awakened with bright, bright lights in my face like bright lights, right? And they asked for my passport. I don't know who this is. I don't know who it is. I'm just like, you know, you first like awaken out to sleep, you kind of like in a in a daze. So I'm kind of in a daze, like what's going on? Everybody like, get off the bus, hurry up, get off the bus. And it's an AK-47 in my face. And I'm just like, okay, this is what I wasn't dreaming about, but okay. <laughs> so um, just that was probably the wildest thing I've seen I've uh, been a part of when I was overseas is just being awakened to an AK-47 and having to get off the bus. They searching the bus, trying to take things. And um, who are these people? Just, I really don't know. You don't know? I really don't know. Wow. Oh, Lord. Really yeah, this is going to qualify as one of the craziest stories. <laughs> and then they said, but I do remember one thing. I, I do remember like, one of my good friends, he told me, when you go overseas, never give somebody your passport. Yeah. And I remember they was asking for my passport, and I was like, I don't have it. So, I mean, yeah. Smart move. God only knows. Like, that's uh, – did they end up taking anything of value off the, the bus or anything? Like, I think they took a few dollars, like some pesos. All this for nothing. a few dollars? Man. They probably yeah. thought you were – you were someone or something else. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they had were. to think something. I don't know. But it was dark that night. Man, yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember that night. That was wild. Yeah, the, the basketball teams aren't carrying around all the money. That's for sure. No, nah, not at all. Not at all. So did they just slink back into the night? Like, they're just going to disappear? Like, what, what was the end of this conversation? They, I mean, they let us get back on the bus, and that was it. Sent you on your <laughs> way after waking you up to a gun in your face? Man. yeah. Actually, I have a question. Did your teammates okay. think anything of it, or was it they were they just kind of like, yeah, that happens? They, yeah, they were just like, yeah, that just happened. Oh, great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me and the other Americans was kind of like, okay, like that stuff you see when you come up in like the inner city. You know what I mean? Like somebody getting robbed at gunpoint type stuff. But they was just like, oh, don't don't be startled. Don't give them anything. If you have something, don't give it to them. And yeah. You know, it's just Tuesday. This happens. Right. I have to ask you now, too, when this happened to you, which, which stint in Mexico was this? This is my first year out. This so, is probably like a month into me going to Mexico. Man. And so you, you went back after that? Yeah. Yeah. I man, oh, man. Did it cross your mind, though, especially because you'd had a hard time uh, initially out of college finding uh, the right job? that when this happened, were you thinking to yourself, maybe I should still quit? Nah, that never crossed my mind at okay. all. <laughs> I mean, when you wake up with a gun in your face, you're like, I would think you might you have, have to thoughts. think that way. Yeah, have yeah. thoughts. Yeah, I never, I never thought about like, right, I'm going to quit. I can't do this. Nah, because I knew I wasn't going to be in Mexico for the duration of my career. Oh, that's true, yeah. Like, I, just, mm. I just felt like that was just a, a situation that spearheaded me into getting on with my career. Hello and thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like and you can watch more videos over here. Uh, you can also click subscribe over here so you're notified when we have new content here on Expat Hoops.